right, we are here on the No BS Show. Brandon Skinner, uh, President and CEO of Riverside Payments, Flyright Creative. Um, here with a good time, long friend and colleague, our Vice President of Sales here at Riverside, Jeremy Schwer. Uh, thanks for joining us on the, on the show here today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Excited to be on the uh, on the cast here. Looking forward to, uh, to doing a ton of these with you. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. And uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, creating a roadmap for success. Uh, the new year is fast approaching. It's here in uh, just a few short weeks. So we figured it'd be great to talk about, you know, mapping out your goals for next year and just really laying that foundation for success. So 2018 can be a huge year for you out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, when you're thinking about a roadmap to success, it's very similar to just a standard roadmap like using GPS on your phone or the actual GPS itself, it takes a few things to, to get to where you're going. So that's something that we're going to cover here today is just what those things are and how they really apply to, to achieving success. Uh, so, I mean, the first thing that you have to know in getting somewhere and getting to your destination is you've got, you've got to have your destination. You got to know where you're going, your, your whys, your vision of where you want to end up on that. Exactly. So knowing where you want to go, having that vision with the goals attached to it. Um, and then one of the key things to really being able to develop that roadmap is you have to be honest with yourself about where you're currently at um, and where your starting point is. Okay. Because if it's something where, you know, you're not honest where you're currently at, uh, it's going to be very hard to hit your goals and achieve that vision because you know you're going to be setting the bar too high or you know too low. So you really got to make sure you're honest with your starting point. Uh, a great example or analogy that I love to use with that is uh, you know if you're looking to go to Seattle, Washington, you're currently in Portland, Oregon. You punch that in your GPS, right? You go to Google Maps. You punch in the address where you want to go. It goes from where your starting point is. But if you tell the navigation that you're actually in San Jose, California versus Portland, Oregon, it's going to be very hard to get to your destination in Seattle because you're not honest with your starting point. So it's a very vital and important thing and an analogy that it really just, uh, stuck uh, home or struck home with me um, and really is very powerful and helped me to understand with the, you know, the meaning of being honest with your starting point. There. A absolutely. And it seems to be kind of one of the hardest things, especially for salespeople. You know, salespeople, they're typically A-type personality. Yeah. They're, you know, they're always confident about themselves. So sometimes people think that they're a little bit ahead of where they're at. Mm -hmm. So it's so utterly important that, you know, if you're, if you're not a 100% hustler, if you're not out there getting after it, you know, eight to 10 hours a day minimum, you know, beating the street and, and yeah. really getting out there. If you're not doing that, you gotta be honest with yourself. Exactly. Otherwise, you're never gonna get to your destination because you, you're not gonna know where your starting point is. Exactly, you know, it's about uh, really focusing on, you know, you have to know what your strengths and weaknesses mm -hmm. are, right? So you have to have that self-reflection with it and with knowing and being honest with your starting point, if there's an area you're weak in or something you need to do, no one's perfect. So you gotta realize that and you have to be honest with yourself uh, so you can focus on uh, getting better with your weaknesses and setting the proper goals to achieve your vision out there. Yeah, absolutely. And there's no shame with wherever you're at right now. We all start from somewhere. Some of us are, are further into it. We've gotten a little bit more developed and, and traveled a little bit further as far as that path to success goes. Others are at the beginning stage. Yep. You know, and there's no shame no matter where you're at on it. So just be honest with yourself on, on where you're at and what you need to improve on. This is really gonna help you really keep track of your metrics to know where you really do need improvements or where your strong suits lie, you know, to, to really double and triple down on your strong suits and make sure you're taking full advantage of it. Exactly, so, you know, we, the, the first thing there, you gotta be honest with your starting point and where you're currently at. So we talked about, uh, you know, having the vision and then, uh, you know, you're having your whys that really motivate and attach to mm -hmm. the vision and then having those goals that are tied to that so you can achieve your long-term long -term goal slash vision mm -hmm. of success and where you're, you're wanting to go in life out there, okay? So let's talk about that. You know, Absolutely. what, with, uh, with, your, with your vision, you know, what are some key things to develop a, a proper vision um, to succeed out there? Really, some of the key things with uh, with that vision there is is getting detailed, right? Too many people just go, ah, you know, I I really just I want to make a lot of money. Right? Yeah, that's that's all good and fine. <laughs> Who doesn't want to make a lot of money, right? <laughs> yeah, we all we all want to make the money, but it's it's what you're gonna do with that money. You know, or is there people that you want to help out? You want to be able to to send your kids to the nicest schools? You want to 
maybe help your family out or or you know, donate to a charity or just maybe maybe you just want to buy a bunch of stuff for yourself yeah. right and if that's the case man that's that's great be honest with it write it down and envision yourself speak it into existence write it down attach you know make it a screensaver on your phone you know something you have with you 24 7 you have to constantly have that vision in your mind and you have to see yourself you know, if it's the new nice, you know, Lamborghini that you want to get or whatever it may be, you got to vision yourself driving it, you know, you know, what color is it going to be? What's the interior? All that. So you have to get really defined with it. Um, and that's one of the key things with uh, developing a proper vision and really giving it power. And that's going to help motivate you um, because if it's just making a lot of money. You know, that's a great vision and a goal to have that we obviously all, all want to do. Uh, most of us for the most part there. So really focus on, you know, what are you going to do and you know get that uh, get that out there right and, and and with the vision you've got to give it attention right you've got to spend time with it it's not something that you think of once you write it down and writing it down absolute key to making this real you know when you write something down something magical happens with it it, it becomes real you know it's it's tangible now you've got it on paper right there in front of you you can see it you can you can read it you can touch it it's there right so it makes it a little bit more real when you write it down and now, when you're spending time with it, what I mean is, is you gotta daydream about it, right? You gotta take time each day to to really visualize what does that look like. You know, close your eyes. You know, this is something I do every day before coming into the office. Park my car, I turn everything off, and I spend five to ten minutes visualizing what my day is gonna go like successfully. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything that I I've set forth to do. I'm gonna knock it out. Then I, I see myself getting in that brand new car and driving home, pulling up to that nice brand new big house that I've got, yeah, right? And, and I've got it down like to a T exactly what I want, you know? The, the double doors on my house are going to open, big French doors up front, all wood. Yeah. You know, I know all the details. And when you know those details and you can really spend time thinking about it and thinking, God, what is it going to be like when, when I actually have that? then it starts to really give you a lot of power and present you with a lot more urgency because you, you can you've yeah. spent so much time visualizing it that you're like you're like a, yeah. a kid before christmas right i yeah, can't exactly. I, I can't exactly. wait for tomorrow that's how you should be about your visions and your and your why's you should be excited about them they should be things that that create so much passion in you to really propel you forward and when you stay focused on those and you have your laser guided focused on those, man, it, it empowers you more than I can even say. Yep, exactly. Um, and you know, you have to be passionate about what your vision is. So if you're not passionate about it um, and it doesn't have meaning to you, you're not going to be as driven. You're not going to have as great as results as if it's something that truly is passionate to you. For example, our vision with Riverside is to be the world's best merchant service provider. Um, that's our vision. And we, uh, we do that by motivating uh, people, empowering them, putting them in positions to succeed um, from our employees to our agents across the country, and then empowering business owners to be more successful successful out there by giving them the tools to thrive and be successful. So that's the ultimate vision for us and what really motivates us mm -hmm. and gets us excited is, you know, really putting those people in positions to succeed, enjoy life and, you know, help them to achieve their goals. Because what better way to, to get there than by helping others and giving back while, you know, um, you know, co accomplishing your vision and goals along the way. So that's the true, true beauty and, you know, really how you can develop a, a, a vision that's very powerful. And it's something, you know, that we talk about all the time. You have to always be working on it yeah. and thinking about it. And it's got to be in your mind because if you're not putting time and effort into it, it's going to fizzle out and it's not going to work. So you got to put that work in on your vision, your goals, and constantly be talking about them, thinking about them, having them written down, having them be a screensaver and all that. So it's constantly fresh in your mind there. Absolutely. And what you'll find out is, is your vision's going to change with time. As you start achieving some of the goals that you have set before you, like, I, you know, I remember b before we got into doing this, you know, I, I, I was making forty to fifty thousand dollars a year was like the max I'd ever made. I didn't think I could achieve anything more. So that's all my vision at that time would allow me to see. But something really cool happens once you start achieving your whys and achieving those goals is you've got a whole new clear line of sight now and you're gonna have brand new goals, brand new visions, whys and things that now you never thought you could attain before 
that open up to you and you're like, oh my God, I could, yeah. I could do so much better. And that, that should excite you in itself right there. So, you know, vision's always, always changing, always getting bigger as you check those things off. Exactly. And it's always evolving. You know, that's mm -hmm. the way I look at it. It's always evolving, you know, uh, because as you do better and better and you become more successful and you're doing more and more, you realize that you can have loftier goals and have a bigger and brighter vision uh, because, you know, you should never limit yourself. So many people cap themselves out because they don't think that they can attain it or it's too big of a dream. You know, when you're a kid, you know, there's hundreds of people, oh, I'm going to be an actor, actress, you know, in the NFL, NHL. It might not actually work out from time to time, and most people it doesn't, but that's, that's the concept and the idea of really you can have those dreams and have those goals and if you have those and you work at it consistently day in and day out like we say here all the time you know it's something that you know you can have that shot and that opportunity to go for it don't limit yourself reach and then reach higher um, that's one of the biggest things that I learned at a sales seminar once was you know we can all reach but if you if you raise your hand and someone tells you to raise your hand as high as you can odds are you can still reach a little higher and that's the beauty of you know, vision and the goals is you can always think bigger, do better, and be, uh, you know, and just do more out there, all right? So just keep that in mind. Don't limit yourself. Think bigger as it's evolving and as it's growing out there. Yeah, and it's, I mean, I mean, it can, it can definitely be a, a struggle at first, especially if you're really just getting into it, thinking, oh my God, you know, can I make it? Can I do that? I know so-and-so did it, but if one person can do it, anybody can do it, right? Yep. Nobody is is born any better than anybody else. We all have the same abilities. We all have, you know, we're, we're all a miracle. The fact that we're here, period. Yeah. You know, the fact that we are us is a miracle in itself. So you got to think before anything was, was a reality, it was dreamed first, right? Way, way, a hundred years ago, nobody ever thought we would ever set foot on the moon, right? It was, it was impossible, but somebody dreamed it. Somebody dreamed it first and then it became a reality. So if you don't know what your vision is, what your whys are right now, man, that is your first step. You wanna be successful, you wanna live a life of, of, of luxury, and success is different to everybody, so find out what your version of success is. What's gonna make you happy and really start thinking about it, dreaming on it, and knowing that it's, it's gonna happen. It's only a matter of time and hard work and dedication, you know? if. If you want more, you got to do more. And that's the secret sauce right there is just the hard work and the determination and being consistent. Mm -hmm. um, doing it every day and getting out there and not giving up. And you just got to keep fighting. You got to keep pushing and pressing, right? So, you know, we have the vision, kind of talked about the whys. Um, and then you go through and you have to attach goals, which is key with the starting point, which is the first thing we talked about there. So you have your vision, um, what you want to do, what you want to become. Um, and then you have to then uh, have the goals. So, you know, you set up monthly, uh, yearly goals that you're going to, or benchmarks, which are stepping stones to achieving your vision. So with goal settings, what are some of the key things that you focus on when setting goals? Absolutely. So, and goals are the step-by-step the -step directions that that GPS gives you, right? Yep. You have a start point, exactly. you have your final destination that you're going uh -huh. to. Turn those, left, turn right, go exactly. straight. Yep. Those, those are your goals, and the key with the goals is to really set them lofty, right? We don't want to set our goals that we know, oh gosh, you know, I can, I can hit that goal in my sleep. Because if you hit that goal, do you feel great about yourself? No, it's just like you checked off something on a to-do list. Yeah, would you rather fall a little bit short on a goal of 100,000 or 10,000? Obviously, falling a little bit short from 100,000 is great. You know, it's 90 versus 9,000, right? So that's yeah. another great analogy, a great way to look at your goals when setting them lofty. It needs to be hard. It needs to be, you know, somewhat attainable, mm -hmm. but it needs to be a, a stretch. It's got to be hard. You know, you should be able to achieve your goals, you know, at least 50% of the time, be able to pass that mark. Hopefully more, obviously, you're putting in the work. But, you know, it's got to be something that it's okay to fall a little bit short in your right. goals, right? You know, uh, the best sports teams uh, in the world you know, they, you know, they always end up losing a few games along the way, right? Nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. So there's nothing wrong with setting those lofty goals. And if you fall a little short, you're still further ahead than uh, setting smaller goals there. Yeah, absolutely. You should feel a little bit uncomfortable with the goals that you set. Oh, yeah. You, there, there should be almost a little bit of Yeah, people looking at you like you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this, this is something that, you know, I really learned from you quite a bit, especially mm -hmm. in the early stages of the company here was, yeah. you know, I was... 
I, I like to set comfortable goals that I knew I could hit. And you'd be yeah. like, "No, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna blow that double out of that." And I'm like, "What? Are we, what?" <laughs> and then and then we pushed forward. We achieved it. We blew it out the water, and it was yeah. it was a great learning experience to go. Oh crap! That there's there's validity in that. Yep. I really do need to step my my personal goals up uh, myself as well, and I have, and it's I mean it's it's paid off huge. Exactly, and then you know with that you know there's going to be the ups and downs with it. Mm -hmm. So don't get down on yourself, and that's the key with the vision and having it be very you know real to you, having it written down to visualize it and everything. When you have the months where you don't achieve those goals that you set for yourself, or you fall short, or maybe you miss it completely, you just have a bad month and you just totally whiff it, right? Mm -hmm. Something happens in your life and you're just a little bit off or whatever it may be, you know, that happens to everybody. So you, that's where the vision is so powerful and important yeah. because it really helps you by, with getting through the tough times and not giving up and you know throwing your dream away at that point. So that's why the vision is so powerful and so many people really talk about that now because it really helps and it, it's a true thing. It's not cliche, it's real. It really helps you get through those tough times. That and making sure you have a great network of positive people that you surround yourself with Absolutely. to help lift you up if you're having an off day, month, whatever it may be. So keep that in mind down yeah. there and that's why a vision is uh, so very powerful. Absolutely, so you know, I guess, I guess in, uh, in, in wrapping stuff up here, there's three key things. Know where you're at, know where you're starting from, know your destination, know your whys, know your vision, know what you really, really want out of life, and then what are those step-by-step -step instructions that you have to do in order to achieve that. Now, depending upon what you do, uh, you've re you really gotta take a look at the different aspects of what you do. If it's a sales, you know, if you're in sales, you gotta look at your numbers, right? What is my, my meeting to, to quote ratio? What is my quote to close ratio at? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, how many people do I get in front of? And you've got to take the things that you have control of, the variables that you have control of. In sales, for salespeople, the only thing we have control of is how many people you get in front of. Yep. So if you're not, if you're not hitting your, your quote numbers, right? You, you want to get X amount of quotes, you're not hitting that, okay? The only thing that's in your power to do is get in front of more people. Yeah, and to adopt that across any industry, uh, you know, that's just about taking action. It's about putting in that work consistently, right? And it's not just doing it for a couple hours. You're going to have to put in the 8 to 10 hours a day, you know, 10, 12. There's 18 hours in the day. Obviously, I'm a big uh, fan of, you know, you got to get your sleep, you know, you got to be healthy, mm -hmm. you know, have the family time, all that. But if you prioritize it, you plan and you execute on the hours you're awake, what are you doing with the 18 hours per day? Mm -hmm. Maximize that by putting in the work and that's the action and that's going to get you the more quotes for sales. That's going to get you, you know, more stuff done out there when you're putting in the extra time and effort. Absolutely. And those, those wise man, they're going to keep you motivated through those tough days, through those days that you don't want to get out of bed. Or maybe you've had a long day. Uh, you know, I remember when we first started out, Brandon and I went out to Newburgh, and we started at seven o'clock in the morning, and we literally went from door to door till seven o'clock at night, and got shut down a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> yeah. Like we even tried hypnotizing a guy, and <laughs> and we just got shut down. It wasn't nice shutdowns. It was you know get the hell out of here type yeah. of shutdowns. And had we not had the vision and know where we wanted to go, you know, the drive home, it was a couple hour drive home that started out pretty brutal, you know, defeated, but we reflected on that yep. vision, what we want to do and what we were going to achieve, which just so you guys know, we've achieved it, we're here, we're doing it, we're yep. living it, but we have that vision and that's what, that's what really empowered us to go, you know what? Forget today, tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's going to be the day that we're going to slay it and we're going to make that money. Exactly. We went out that next day. And that's what we did. So exactly. that, that vision is going to empower you through those tough times. Yeah, and just remember you can't change the past, only the future. Um, and we'll just run through the, the summary real quick and then we'll wrap things up here for today. Um, so the three things one more time. Starting point, where you're really at. Be honest with yourself, that's key. So that's the starting point, where you're at. Next thing is going to be your destination, yep. your whys, what you want to accomplish. And then through that, you will find out what you need to do in order to make that exactly. happen. Exactly, so with the whys, developing the vision, and then third, you have to develop the, the goals or the stepping stones 
to achieving that vision and to achieve your whys there, all right? So with that in mind, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, share, give us some feedback, tag some people uh, that uh, could be- benefit from this podcast and vlog. Um, and thank you, Jeremy Schroeder, for, uh, for joining me here today. And that's going to wrap it up here on the No BS Show with Brandon Skinner and Jeremy Schroeder here. So be money, be great, make it a great day, everyone.